Show pages at kiwifm.co.nz. All the best bits saved just for you. Kiwi. Kiwi. 102.2. Splash of trash. 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 Splash in the trash all over the place is Nick Bassine from OK Magazine. G'day there, Nick. G'day, Wamal. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. Uh, first, first topic of our trash talk today would be Sandra Bullock, who's managed to um, make it out in public without the rock. Yes, it's um, well, depending on how much you uh, how much stock you put in this sort of thing. Uh, she's not. She stepped out. She's not wearing her ring. She's um, she's going on some sort of hike, and she's drinking coffee, and. Um, it looks like it's all over. So, so is a ring normally on the coffee hand or the other hand? It's normally on the coffee hand. Ah, so she's and she's taking a sip, and so everyone can see that hand. That's right, and she's gripping the coffee cup. Soon the the photos will be everywhere, but the she's drinking the coffee cup. Uh, she's holding it very high. Yeah, and uh, according to uh, body experts, that's what you do when you want to show your power. And she's clearly showing off right. the ringless finger. So that wouldn't, but it wouldn't indicate that she was almost finished the coffee. There was only a little bit of coffee left in the cup, so therefore she'd be holding it high to try and get the last dregs of that beautiful, beautiful cup of coffee. Look, it's possible, but I prefer to think of it as a sign that her marriage is over. Hmm. Has she got a firm grip on that cup? She does. Hmm. It looks like she does. Mm. And she's also uh, wearing a scarf, which, according to body experts, means that she's trying to hide her heart. Oh. It's not cold? Where is she? she's um, She's in Northern California, where, yeah, sure, it's cold, but... That's uh, that's what body experts call your heart window or your throat window. Oh. That's where you communicate from. Right. So she's kind of hiding. She's holding back. She's protecting herself. So she doesn't want to be left uh, exposed, I suppose, especially to that cold. Well, cold or the harsh uh, rumors circulating about mm. her husband. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Let's move on to... Um, Hudson, Kate Hudson, yes, who's had her norks out, is that right? Well, it sort of looks like it. Um, Kate Hudson is uh, normally, uh, you know, modestly proportioned in that area, but uh, she has stepped out looking uh, like she's cup, uh, cup-sized, if you will. Huh. Upsize the cup size. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's more noticeable because she's, she's normally not so um, busty. Mm. But um, it's causing a, a great stir. Even, even the great Spencer Pratt uh, of the Hills has weighed in saying that, um, how is it possible to get breast implants and still not have breasts? Kate Hudson, get your money back. What, what about the fact that she, um, there's a potential, potential she might be with child? Um, well, it depends on, I guess it depends on which way you want to go on this, on this thing. I mean, it's, it's certainly possible, but if she wouldn't have gotten surgery, if she was expecting, I suppose. Stranger things have happened in Hollywood. I suppose, yeah, sure. Um, Michael Douglas, what a terrible father. What kind of father would bring up a child that goes to prison for five years? Well, children of high-profile Hollywood actors uh, often find themselves in this kind of mess. Um, he, Cameron Douglas, he's, um, he's been sentenced for, to five years for um, apparently possessing and intending to distribute a great deal of crystal meth. Um, approximately $20,000 worth. And uh, an undercover cop busted him. It's very sad. Michael Douglas described his son as a loving man and a thoughtful friend. He pleaded with the court to get some leniency. So did Catherine Zeta-Jones, Michael mm. Douglas' wife, and Kirk, the great Kirk Douglas. 
Cameron's grandfather, mm. but uh, to no avail. As, Very sad. As, do you think Michael Douglas has considered that some of the roles he's taken in Hollywood, some of the film roles, may have been bad role models for his son? I think if Michael Douglas doesn't rethink his choice in film choices in film work, yeah. as a result of this, he is fooling himself. Mm. You can only play Gordon Gecko so many times before your children start dealing drugs. You've hit it there, Nick. Thanks so much. Anytime, Ramo. Nick Bassine from OK Magazine. Those stories you'll find in the magazine coming out next week. Also, check out the website as well, okmagazine.com.au. That is the end of 